Today we want to look at this example where we're going to figure out how many different words, real or imaginary, can be formed using all of the letters of the word rearrange. Um, so basically we're just trying to mix up the letters and find how many different combinations, different ways that we can arrange this, these letters. Um, now one thing that's a little different about this problem compared to some of the other problems is that the numbers and letters that we're working with are not distinct. So you can see that we have repeated R's, repeated E's, repeated A's, and they're not differentiable when, uh, when you rearrange these, right? So if I took this R and put it, put it in the first position, who's to say that it's this one rather than these other two? And so that would, is what makes this problem a little different. So first let's figure out how many of each letter there are. So we have three R's, uh, two E's, we have two A's, um, just one N, and one G. So the reason why we want to figure this out is we have to figure out how many different positions, how many different ways we can make this. So this is going to be a three, five, seven, eight, nine letter word. So nine letters here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. Um, and so let's, let's try this. So first, if we want to place all of our R's, all of the R's, well, we have nine positions to choose from, and we're picking three of them. Now, technically, the order doesn't matter because these R's aren't distinguishable. So I could put an R here, an R here, and an R here, and we wouldn't know which one is which. So that means it's going to be a combination. So it's a combination of nine objects taken three at a time. We're placing three objects three R's from a nine total of nine positions. So we've used this R, this R, this R. Uh, so next let's place the E's. So if I want to put the E's in here, I can put them pretty much anywhere I want. But again, we don't know which E is which. So it's again a combination. But this time we only had one, two, three, four, five, six positions to choose from, right? Nine minus three is six. And we're placing our two E's. Then we can place the A's, so the E's are gone. So we have two A's, um, but now there's only four open positions. So we're gonna, from the four positions, we're gonna put our two A's. And then after we've placed the A's, we have two open positions. So if we're gonna place the N, there's two positions open and we only have one N that we're putting in. So let's say we put the N here. And then lastly, we have the one position left for our 1G. Now, this obviously doesn't make a real word, but it doesn't have to be, right? It can be real or imaginary. So now we just evaluate this. So let's go ahead and use the combination formula here. So we have 9 factorial divided by 9 minus 3, which is 6 factorial times 3 factorial uh, times 6 factorial over 6 minus 2, which is 4 factorial times 2 factorial. Uh, we have 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2, which is 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And then we have 2 factorial over 2 minus 1, which is 1 factorial times 1 factorial uh, times 1 factorial over 1 minus 1, which is 0 factorial uh, times 1 factorial. And we actually get some canceling that can happen, right? We have this 6 factorial, and that will cancel this 4, and this 4 will cancel this 2 and this 2, this 1 and this 1. And we know that 0 factorial is just a 1. Um, so when we rearrange this, right, or if we, like, combine all these, in our numerator we have 9 factorial. In the denominator we have 3 factorial, then 2 factorial, 2 factorial, uh, one factorial and one factorial. And so expand this. So let's expand this. So we have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All of that divided by three times two times one times two times one times two times one times one times one. So now we can simplify. So we have uh, these here, those can cancel with these. Uh, 2 times 2, that's
that's going to be 4. And then the rest of this ends up just being 1 in our denominator. So we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 that we're left with, which if you pulled out your calculator and did all the multiplication, you would end up with 15,120. So this is one of the 15,120 arrangements of the words, the letters in the word rearrange. Um, so again, we use combinations for these because the value, the letters are not distinguishable, they're not distinct. So the order in which we place them doesn't matter because they're exactly the same. Now there's actually a formula that we can use for a situation like this where we're doing a permutation of non-distinct objects. And it looks like this. So the permutation of n objects that are not distinct is n factorial, so there's the total number of objects factorial, divided by um, n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial all the way to n sub k. Basically where each of our values in the denominator is the number of times that each object occurs within your um, arrangement. So if we look here, we had three r's, we ended up with three factorial. We had two e's, we ended up with two factorial. Two a's, one n, one g and that gave us all of our factorials in the denominator. And that was that formula there.